Greetings. This is the XKA1200 standard version from GearBest.com. Purchase links in the description. So what's so special about this plane? Well, it is probably the easiest assembly of any plane I have ever seen. And you'll see why a bit later on. Ready to fly, which means it comes with transmitter, battery, charger, everything you need to get flying. As you can see, the plane is seriously well packed in a nice polystyrene box. A couple of wings. Canopy. Uh, let's just get it all out and have a look. So we have a transmitter, really nice looking transmitter. Charger, battery, power plug. Horizontal and vertical stabilizers. A couple of wings. Wing spar or wing angle. Three bladed prop. Two bolts one screwdriver and one hex wrench and the fuselage. Now the cool thing about this plane is the servo connections are built in. Once you plug the wing in, the servos are already connected. That is brilliant. Same with the horizontal stabiliser, there's a little servo connector there and the vertical stabiliser as well. Brilliant idea, as long as it works. And you can see Lots of little electronics in here. We have an ESC, Velcro onto the side, 20 amp ESC, and that's connected into a receiver and a flight control board there, which has apparently six way gyros. Battery has a JST plug on it, that's nice and standard. And we have an in and an out for the uh, ESC, I assume that's for uh, FPV gear. I'm not too sure about that. First off, I'll put the horizontal stabiliser on. Vertical stabiliser. And that kind of clicks into place. Okay, long one from the back one on the top. Oh, that buries right in there. So the tail is on, servos connected. Next we have the wing. I guess that goes in there. Seems to. wings sort of locked together with this little clip and the servo plugs in. Just have to charge up some batteries and let's go for a fly. Time to see how this thing flies. I don't know if I mentioned uh, before but this plane has a flight control board um, and it's fully stabilized. Uh, you can choose 6G mode, which is very, very stabilised and you can't do loops and rolls and things like that. Or 3D mode, which is partially stabilised uh, and you can do loops and rolls and, and uh, aerobatics. And if you get into trouble, you just click back to 6G mode and it'll level itself out. That's the theory anyway. We've got about 10 to 15 knots of wind, which is a bit too much for comfort. But as you can see, this plane, although it's very light, it's very, very low drag too. Should be able to handle the wind, I think. Now, when you first plug it in, you're supposed to hold the sticks down and out to reset the stabilizer. Doesn't seem to be stabilizing anything at this moment. Oh, there we go. Now we're now we're right. Now that's. 3D mode, that's full stabilised mode, that's dual rates. Well that's very stable, that's in 6G mode. Let's try 3D mode. Alright, so we've got more control now. Oh yeah, 
but I believe it's still stabilised a bit. It's flying hands off beautifully. Still partially stabilised. Panic. And it climbs and it's super stable. It's landing in 6G mode. Very gentle. Very nice. That's cool. Stabilized sloping. Is it even possible? <laughs> How stable is that? Ready mode. That's in full stabilised mode now. And it's going to fly itself. Oh, what a lovely sight. So that's a lot of fun. It is very easy to fly. It is very well stabilised in uh, 6G mode, even with this nasty wind. And you can fly it reasonably normally in uh, 3D mode, and it's still a little bit stabilised, uh, which makes it very easy to fly. Very nice plane.